Hey everybody, RPM RPM with TornadoFrames.com. This is a literally a last minute scramble. Stevie has just released the newest firmware for the KK 2.1, which is 1.14 S1. And I dumped the pro version on here. Uh, I've gone through my AC calibration. I've moved my stick scaling up to 100 on pitch and roll. My yaw I think is at 80 stick scaling. Rest of all the PI numbers are bone stock. Everything else is just bone stock. The gyro is still set at uh, 500. The ACC is at 4 and it's at a 256 hertz still. So, this is going to be bone stock. We're going to uh, last minute. I'm losing light. It's been raining all day here in Southern California. Let's, uh, this will literally be first arm. Uh, feature I'm most excited about on here is you don't have to change all of the calibrations for the PNI numbers when you change the gyro settings it will auto take care of all that internally for you uh, the other thing I'm really excited about is idle motor when armed so let's uh, see how both of these feel let me double check my uh, self level switch yep on and off got it arming this is literally first arm, first flight. This is self-level on and already I can feel the self-level feature is way stronger. They're really solid already. And that is one, because I'm only running a, the gyro at 500. So the math uh, works out a lot better and it's able to hold the thing in self-level much better than when the gyro is at 2000. So even though now the board internally calculates your PNI numbers when you're changing your gyro, it still doesn't change the fact that at 2000 on the gyro setting, the, the math internally gets really low and so self-level gets really fuzzy. So goal here on this flight is to check out self-level at 500. Uh, I wanted to see what motor arm felt like. Feels really nice. And then now I want to go ahead and let's check uh, stick scaling and see how far I can push it as far as stick scaling pitch and roll. If I get the gyros, if I can outfly the gyros with my style of flying with the gyro set at 500. My guess is I can't. Uh, I don't push it that hard. So let's go self level off and let's uh, get up and try some flips and rolls. Let's see what the stick scaling feels like. So that's at 100, both pitch and roll. Just a nice linear feel, nothing crazy. That's full stick deflection, so let's land. Uh, let's check rudder before we do anything. Yeah, rudder can be turned up a little bit. So let's land real quick. Nice, slow motor idle, disarmed. I like motor idle in aerobatic flight. So we're going down to stick scaling. I'm gonna go to about one, let's uh, lean on a little bit. Let's go 115. Pitch and roll 115. Now let's go yaw up to say. Oh, well, let's kind of lean on. Let's go 95 from 80. Going back, back. Once again, we'll arm the board. We get a nice flight idle. I like that in aerobatic flight. So self level off. And let's check the yaw rate. Good, spry, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, just uh, comes around crisp. No problem doing multiples. At 115 on this, the Whirlwind 600 frame from tornadoframes.com. Disarm. Let's go stick scaling up to, let's lean on it, 125, roll, 125 pitch, uh, let's do 100 yaw. Let's open another 10 points. So we'll check yaw. 
That's with self-level on. I've got a low rate with ACC on in my radio. So now we'll go self-level off, full rates. There's a full yaw. I love how the Whirlwind 600 stops. All right, let's see how it flips and rolls. That's at 125 for pitch, 125 for roll, and 100 for yaw. I really like it. I really like everything, so what the heck. Wow, that's fast and forward flight. Wow, 125 when it's moving. So that actually might be me. That was probably more than likely me outflying the gyro. When here in a stationary flip, you see the roll rate. And now I'll try it one more time without crashing it. Watching fast forward flight, how quick it is now. Full deflection. Yeah, that's me out flying the gyro at 500. So I didn't think I would at my roll rates, but apparently that's not the case. I am. So here, full stick deflection for a pitch change. And now we'll come across in fast forward flight. See how quick that gets? That's because you're out flying the gyro. At that point, the gyro almost shuts down. It goes to full bore and just tries to flip it as fast as it can. So the problem with that is, is that you're gonna get a non-consistent pitch and roll rate. So when you're sitting in a stationary, um, it's gonna pitch at one speed. And when you're in fast forward, it's gonna go to another. So I'm gonna instantly go back into MPU settings, which you could not do before on the fly because you had to do all the math for the gyro setting. And let's go to, let's change nothing else. Let's just go to gyro from 500 to 1000 and see if I can outfly it there. Arming, nice flight idle. Okay, so still I've got that nice stationary. That's full deflection pitch change. And now let's come across and fast forward or in forward flight, I should say. And there it is, now it's nice and controlled in forward flight. Let's do that one more time from the right. See, my, my pitch rate stays the same because I'm not out flying the gyro now. So let's uh, try that again in a forward maneuver. Yep, and I stay a nice consistent rate now. And now I don't have to go in and do all the math because I've changed my gyro. Uh, Stevius is auto-correcting for the P&I numbers. He's doing the math internally in the board. And I haven't touched. This is not a touch to P&I numbers. So this is really nice. So now that I'm up to 1,000 on the gyro, let's go and do ACC on. And let's see how ACC on feels here. I almost want to say I can kind of feel it. Just not as not as not as lock solid. So if you're a cruise around guy, you know 500, or or if you're an FPV guy, 250 on the gyro. Uh, just I would not be flipping and rolling at that and expect a linear roll rate. It still feels good. I like this. This is probably a good compromise for my style of flying, 1,000 on the gyro. It still gives you a decent self level. I think on some low rates, I could actually uh, cruise around with a GoPro on the nose here, the Whirlwind 600, and get some uh, good footage. So let's go back self level off. Low voltage alarms going off. This was an old battery. I'd already flown it once the other day and I just grabbed it real quick going out the door. All right, don't want to push it and crash. Let's set her down. And there we go. We've got our nice, uh, nice flight idle. Well, that's pretty dang cool. Stevius, hats off to you, buddy. Thank you for adding the uh, flight idle. I really like that for aerobatic flight. I don't like the prop stop. Uh, once again, it gives you that non-linear flip and roll rate when you're tumbling. 
uh, having the flight idle I think helps that keeps it keeps it a little more consistent so once again RPM RPM with tornado frames on the whirlwind 600 KK 2.1 stevius 1.14 s2 pro version enjoy good night